Friday. I feel like I look like what I have been through <laughs> these past 24 hours. I just clocked out of work and I'm getting ready to head to a event I was invited to. There is a facial studio here in Atlanta. I think it's been open for a little bit, but the owner, I believe her name is Ansley. She's opening up a second location in the Marietta area and invited influencers and creators out there. So I definitely want to make it to that. It sounds like it'll be a cute little event. And her studio is so cute, y'all. It's called Face Studio. So of course we're going to be blogging when I get there, but let let me tell y'all what has been going on. So yesterday, I don't know what I ate y'all, but my stomach has been bubbling ever since. And it's still bubbling a little bit now, but it was hurting so bad. I had to stop work kind of early and ended up starting back work late last night. So it was rough and I did not stop up my toilet y'all. So I ended up flushing it, right? This is maybe TMI, but whatever. <laughs> I flushed the toilet and I went back to my bed to lay down. And next thing I know y'all, the toilet was just running running and it wouldn't stop running <clears throat> and I heard it running again didn't stop up because everything went down so I got up to use the bathroom again for like the third time and when I stepped on my floor it was so like soaking wet so my rugs were soaked everything y'all the toilet had overflowed or leaked I don't know so I ended up calling maintenance he was just not very helpful trying to make jokes with me all this whole time I'm in so much pain he's talking about is it ghosts in here you don't see anything wrong with the toilet but I haven't had any issues with my toilet since then but I had to mop up all of that water and I washed my rugs of course and it got a little bit on my carpet so yeah it was just a hot mess I'm telling y'all this apartment situation I'm just so ready to go guys. So my sister is coming with me to this event. I am praying my stomach holds up y'all. I'm about to put on this little white dress and then y'all in the midst of all of this, I want Mexican food. So don't ask me what's wrong with me y'all, but I really just have a taste for Mexican. So I think I'm gonna risk it and drag her to get that with me after. And I'm gonna come straight home just in case it does mess up my stomach. Mm -hmm. look I just did a little side part for my ponytail little effortless bang look so I'm putting on my summer Fridays y'all already know I'm obsessed with this lip balm and then putting on my little gold rings and then my uoma y'all don't clock me if I'm not pronouncing it right I know it's a black owned brand lip liner it's one of the darkest ones I could find. This is the Davis color. Let me show y'all the bag I'm gonna take. So I'm bringing this bag. I got this from Zara last year. And then I have some little green sandals that I'm gonna wear as well. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. Y'all ignore these dead flowers behind me. I'm not sure if y'all can see those, but I tried to get some new flowers today, y'all. I just got back home not too long ago from a dentist appointment. And then from there, I tried to go to Trader Joe's in Buckhead. That's where my dentist was, y'all. That was a mistake. I couldn't find a park, so I just ended up coming back to my side and went to Publix. Now we're here. So I have another event to go to at 4 o'clock. So, y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> 
I am really tired. I really don't even feel like going, but I'm gonna go because I definitely want to see Danessa Myricks. I don't know if I told y'all already, but it's an event with Danessa Myricks. She has a beauty brand in Sephora. She creates makeup products. I have not actually tried any of the products yet. So I am super excited to see her, hear her speak. Um, she's doing like a get ready with me event. So I don't know anybody else going besides Simone. So yeah, so I'm super excited that she got an invite as well. So y'all, I don't even know what I'm about to wear, but I gotta figure something out. I also went to the wine store because last night at the um skincare place that we went to faced they were serving some really good wine it was like a cabernet wine so i went to total wine to try to find the same one they didn't have it but the guy suggested something similar to me so i picked that up but yeah i'm pretty much about to eat because i haven't eaten anything all day i'm charging up my batteries for my camera because of course y'all are coming along with me to the event um it's only like 18 minutes away so it's not far at all so i think i'm probably just gonna dress pretty casual i'm definitely not worried about dressing up um and then i'm just gonna come back home shower and relax so y'all this is the wine that i got it is from kava Kava list. It was really good. They let me sample it in the store and I really liked it. So I'm definitely gonna pop this open when I get back. Y'all, I had to make me a matcha because I'm tired. I have like 20 minutes to get ready. So yeah, let me go ahead and figure out what I'm about to throw on real fast and then run out. So this is a fit I threw on y'all. I have on this top from Aritzia and these Gap cargo pants. I'm looking real casual. This bag. Oh my god, I can't remember right now where it's from, but... And just these cute little black sandals. I didn't really like makeup because they say it's a good... Uh, they said it's a get ready with me, so... Um, they mentioned an uh, eyeshadow palette in the email. So I didn't do a whole lot to my eyes, so I can use whatever the products are we're going to be playing around with at the event. So yeah, I'm going ahead heading out. I'm going to be like 15 minutes late, y'all, but hopefully they haven't started yet. Simone and Kim Kimberly White, yeah.
feet should not hurt. It's the pad of my, it's this. It's literally this right here. It's not this. It's never the heel, honestly. Yeah, it's never Y'all, influencers never. after events. Oh, my friend. Oh, I was able to do it, and I'm cute. That's amazing. <laughs> Y'all, they see her, y'all. You have to press an exit button just now? Yeah. Why would you? I was struggling. I was like this. <laughs> you don't have too many drinks. <laughs> hey, y'all. So yesterday was so much fun. I'm going to have to fill y'all in when I get back home. But I just threw on my little outfit. Um, it's a super chill outfit. I'm going to meet Naki for brunch and I'm super excited. So let me show y'all what I have on. I have not seen Naki in a minute, y'all. So. so I just have on this little one piece outfit. I think I got this from Aritzia as well. And then same bag as yesterday, these shoes. And yeah, this is my cute, chill little brunch look. So we're getting ready to head out. Our reservations are at two o'clock. to wrap up this vlog and hop in the shower and then eat and go to bed i'm trying to be in the bed before 11 o'clock y'all because this was a very long weekend i'm exhausted but yesterday at the danessa myricks event i just felt so inspired y'all it was just so good to see a woman that looks like me being able to host an event of that magnitude like she is doing very very well business wise and it's just not a lot of black women in the beauty industry succeeding and doing it on that level so yeah yesterday was amazing y'all it was everything everything that was laid out in front of us at our little beauty stations we were able to keep and bring home and i'm new to the danessa myrix brand i've heard of it before but haven't tried it so all of the products i love 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 so far and i'm just so thankful that i was even included y'all on the roster for the event it just goes to show that the work that we do as influencers does not go unnoticed and a lot of effort time money and everything goes into building a brand so it's just a really good feeling when brands can like pour back into us as creators so i feel even more inspired to just keep creating keep going and know that it's only up from here so but y'all i am exhausted the brunch today with naki was really good i haven't seen her in a while y'all I can be really bad at keeping in touch with my friends. Y'all let me know if I'm the only one like that. But I'm trying to think when is the last time I saw her. I don't know. But I met Naki actually on set with a event with Camille Rose like almost five years ago now. So we've been cool ever since then. And then, like I said, I kind of fell off. I did terrible at keeping in touch. So... It was just so good to see her. Also, after this weekend, I'm seeing how important it is to surround yourself with people who are like on a similar journey as you and kind of working towards the same goals as you. Because yeah, influencing, creating, it's a very new industry, a lot people don't talk about. And it's still a lot to learn, a lot that goes on behind the scenes. So it's definitely really, really good to build a network within this industry. So I'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower, y'all. And side note, this bodysuit from Aritzia is so freaking comfortable y'all I kind of want to order another one I had this on all day <laughs> I've just been editing so I'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower thanks y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video